All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome inside Okinawa Arena. We just finished the play-in game for Georgia and Cape Verde. The final score, Georgia 85, Cape Verde 60. We are now joined by head coach for Cape Verde, Emmanuel Truvada, and Kennedy Mensch. Coach and Kennedy, can you please open up with sharing your initial thoughts about the contest and your first outing ever on FIBA World Cup stage? Uh, bem, um, em primeiro lugar, nós sabíamos que havia muita, muita ansiedade no grupo, por ser a primeira vez que a equipa estava a participar num, num campeonato do mundo, havia essa responsabilidade, uh, conseguimos entrar bem, mas a partir do, do décimo minuto, mais ou menos, a equipa que entrou, entrou muito nervosa, muito ansiosa, não igual a nós próprios, mas isso é, é normal, sabíamos que isso, porque era primeira vez que estamos aqui a participar, fomos para o intervalo e retificamos o que tínhamos que fazer, dizer aos jogadores para se divertirem, para serem iguais a eles próprios e tivemos de facto uma segunda parte muito boa, que nos dá um ânimo e força para o próximo jogo. First of all, we, uh, it's the first time of Cabo Verde in the World Cup, so we had a little bit of anxiety in the beginning. Uh, then, but we entered well in the match, but then we could see the anxiety showing up. And, but, but at the second half, by the uh, second half, I talked with the players and we explained so for them to take, uh, enjoy the game and the answer was positive. And uh, we have good signs for the next match. Thank you, coach. And Kennedy, your impressions? Uh, World Cup is a, is a big competition. Eh? It's our first time here. Uh, we we proud to be here. We're gonna try and uh, uh, play game by game. Uh, focus on our goal is to be on the Olympics next year. And then the game the game was a uh, was a tough game because Georgia got got a good team. They share the ball. They they play together. They make us run so much. Play uh, defense. Uh, now we're gonna go to the hotel stay focused, and then see, trying to do better for the next game. Thank you. We'll go ahead and open up for questions from the floor. We have a microphone coming around. Hi, uh, Evan Harding, FIBA World Basketball. Um, Kennedy, what are the uh, lessons you can take from this first World Cup experience uh, into that next game with Venezuela? Uh, World Cup is, is the top. Uh, and then uh, it makes us like uh, learn. We can do a lot of mistake on the court because the the mistake you do, you're gonna pay off for for the mistake the mistake you do on the court. Okay. Any other questions, Evan? Yeah. Um, and also, you um, so you won the second half. How important was it to play through t uh, to the end? Uh, Cape Verde, uh, we are fighters. Uh, we like to fight. We always, uh, uh, we always fight. The, uh, we we want to keep on the game. That's why we fight until the end. Uh, we never give up easy. Okay. And uh, today, the three-point shot slip, man. Uh, new basket. When you play to the new basket, uh, you have a 26 shot, just three in three points. This team may have a good three point shot. Uh, today is, is not come. But we think we go keep work, we go reflect this game. And the next game, I tell you, man, you go see the Sharks play in this game. Thank you. Okay, and that will go ahead and. Con oh, we have one more question. I apologize. Uh, yeah, this is a question for, for uh, the coach. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your traveling fans? Because they, they made a lot of noise inside the, the stadium tonight. Uh, even when you were down big, they, they kept cheering for you. Oh, he's amazing, man. This guy fly to the cover for come here, for help with the team. Uh, somebody guys is ex-players. Somebody guys dreams this, this competition. 
play from national team a lot of times. And uh, we come here because this um, opportunity for Cabo Verde played in the, the Cup is for him too. Uh, small people, great uh, in art, great in energy. This finds is amazing, man. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much. That will go ahead and um, conclude the first part of our press conference. Thank you, Coach Truvada, and thank you, Kennedy. Good thank luck you. to you the rest of the thank way. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so welcome back inside ok Okinawa Arena. We are now joined by Georgia, who just finished completing and defeating Cape Verde. Final score, 85 to 60. We're joined by head coach Ilias Zuros and Goga Bitaze. Coach and Goga, can we please hear an opening statement about your thoughts here about the opening contest and the first for Georgia here at the World Cup? We'll start with you, uh, Goga. Uh, yeah, it's a huge win for us. Uh, it's the first game, you know, you don't know what to expect, you know, all these feelings, mixed emotions. Mm, uh, but guys did a great job, uh, made winning plays, right plays. We played tough, um, did what coaches told us to do before game, you know, what was the game plan. We followed the game plan and we got the well-deserved win. Thank you. And, and Coach Zoros? Uh, I will say that this historical moment for Georgian basketball. It's the first win in the World Championship, first appearance. We are very happy, very satisfied. But we have to go on. This was only the first game of the tournament. We have uh, in front of us a very tough game against Slovenia. After two days, you have to be focused, and uh, we need to start to work from today for that game. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. We'll open up for questions from the floor, and we have a microphone. We'll start with Evan. <laughs> uh, hello, Coach. Um, you started a little bit slow, but the uh, size and athleticism of uh, Goga, Sandro came in, also Tsitsade really turned it around. Um, how important was that to uh, take control of the game? I will say that... Uh First of all, I will talk about all the team that I will say that I'm very satisfied from all the team because this is very important. Uh, I'm very happy uh, for some players today that uh, they play, I will say, much better than we were expected. Some players, uh, they didn't play a lot. We share the time. I was very satisfied from Goga today because uh, he really uh, show to everybody what he can do. is uh, a guy who can play two positions with a very big basketball quality, very big basketball IQ. 
Unfortunately, Goga and Shengelia were not with us uh, last uh, summer. Goga was injured. He tried to do the best and he couldn't play a lot. This year he is playing and I'm very uh, satisfied from that. Uh, I believe to the team and I'm so happy that all the players, they believe first to the team because one day they can play great, one another day maybe they will not play great, but they will give something to the team to to make the win. So I'm, I'm really satisfied from all my players. And the good thing of the game of today is that we share the time. Uh, we didn't play a lot of time because we have uh, also many games in short period and you have to manage the time for, the, for that. <laughs> Next question. Uh, for for coach, uh, when looking ahead to your next matchup against Slovenia, uh, what are the challenges that are posed by having to solve for Luka Doncic and Slovenia shooters? Of course, I cannot uh, answer tactically <laughs> this uh, question. For us, it's a big challenge. Anyway, we play against one top team in uh, in the world, one team which uh, you know also they they are uh, you know playing a long time together. Uh, Luka Doncic is a star of the NBA, a great player, can score, can pass, can rebound, can do everything on the court. So it's a big challenge. We're going to try to do our best, we're going to be prepared, and we're going to see what is going to happen. Any more questions from the, from the room? Uh, about uh, Edith Awarish. Mm, uh, he said that it was very difficult to uh, guard Georgian basketball players. And uh, uh, how hard was uh, to guard uh, Tawarish? For Goga. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a great player, you know, big size. We know what he can do. One of the best bigs in the EuroLeague. Uh, but, you know, we made the game plan that it was going to be tough with him, you know. Um, and I think the, not only us as a big, but uh, our guards did a great job being there for us, helping us, because it's hard to contain, uh, contain him one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So our, I think it go, shadow goes to our guards who, who were there for us on the right time, right place, and they paid off. We got the win. Okay, that will go ahead and conclude our press conference here. Thank you so much, Coach Zuros and Goga. Congratulations, and Thank good luck to much. you the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much.